morning, afternoon, uh, whatever time you're watching this. Um, so, we have an idea of using things, everyday objects. Uh, here we have pencil sharp and a very simple, um, some stuff from the garden. Uh, a bit of dogwood, nice red colour, um, some hazel. Uh, can't remember what this is, all slightly different. Nice and green. Um, make sure you ask your parents before you go and chop all their plants down what you can use. Make sure it's not poisonous. Uh, these aren't. Um, so, you need a pencil. Because what we're trying to do is make something here that is pencil thick, so it gives you some idea to work to. A pair of secateurs. Uh, if you need, get your parents to use these to cut it for you. If you're not comfortable with that, do you know what? I'm going to go for this piece here. You want to take that piece off as well because you need it straight as you possibly can, rather like a pencil. Really. So, cut that one off there. <coughs> Close your secateurs. Grab your pencil sharp and off you go. Hopefully, this will be good. So. It takes a little bit of time. You can see the sharp shavings coming out from this side. I can just give you a slightly close up, might be a bit blurred. Look at those go, it's lovely, it's a bit, it's very buttery. Um, it's a bit like peeling vegetables. Oh, beautiful. The shape it's created, its own spiral, its own natural pattern. Okay, so we've got one here. Um, but these are beautiful little pyramid shapes, uh, very organic, okay. And at the end, you've also got some sticks, which have got points on the end, which are actually quite beautiful in themselves, so they could be used somehow. I mean, you could maybe chop them at angle. I need to sharpen my secateurs, and then kind of Put them back together so they could be left as shapes, something like that. So you could do zigzags. Oh, it's all getting a bit Andy Goldsworthy now. So, for those of you who can't get <coughs> um, twigs from the garden, pencil size, so look at those. Uh, and if you've got pencils, you can use those, you can use both. Um, don't sharpen all your pencils right now, otherwise. You'll have no pencils to colour in with or, or draw with. Okay. Right. Oh, nice and sharp. Right. So a nice light blue. Try and move those off. Okay. So really interesting little colour pattern there. Um, some interesting sculptural forms um, of different varieties of stick and different colour pencils. So on this, um, what we're doing is sharpening the stick, this is possibly Rowan, uh, and so you get a continuous sharpening like that, comes off, uh, and then, very, very delicate, I mean these are green, in the green, so that's quite nice, they're not too brittle, like pencil sharpenings would be, gently manipulate it, rolling it around on itself, what we end up with. Is kind of a cone, They're almost really organic. They look a bit like sort of pine cones in some respects. Very nice. So you've got that, and then you can get a cocktail stick. It doesn't have to be a cocktail stick if you don't have one. It could be a little thin stick you might find out in the garden. Uh, a bit of glue on the end, and pop it in the pointy end of your wound on piece of bark. And there you have an article which you can use um, for making a repetition of things. Brilliant.